Today's topic is about general trinomial. If a given is a trinomial and it is not a perfect square trinomial, then it is a general trinomial. In this topic, I will teach you how to factor general trinomial. Let's try this example. x squared plus 5x plus 6. To make it easy, let's just copy the first term and the last term. Make sure to copy the operation before the last term. Next, we need to get all the factors of the first term and the last term. For x squared, that is x times x. And for positive 6, we have 1 times 6, 2 times 3, negative 1 times negative 6, and negative 2 times negative 3. As you notice, we did not get the negative factors of x squared. Since for the first term, we only need the positive factors. But for the last term, make sure to write all the factors including the negatives. After that, we need to look for the factors that if we add, the result is equivalent to the numerical coefficient of the second term. If we add 1 and 6, the result is 7. And that is not equivalent to our second term. Let's try other factors. If we add 2 and 3, the result is positive 5. And that is equivalent to the numerical coefficient of our second term. So we're going to use these factors. Next step, we're going to prepare these parentheses. And then copy the factors of the first term. And the factors of positive 6, that if we add, the result is positive 5. As you notice, we use the addition operation since the sign of 2 and 3 are both positive. And that will be our answer. The factors of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is the quantity of x plus 2 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 3. Another one. Let's try another one. x squared plus 5x minus 6. Copy the first term and the last term first. Make sure to copy the operation before the last term. Then write down all the factors of the first term and the last term. For x squared, that is x times x. And for negative 6, we have 1 times negative 6, 2 times negative 3, negative 1 times 6, negative 2 times 3. Next, we need to look for the factors of negative 6 that if we add, the result is positive 5. If we add 1 and negative 6, the result is negative 5. And if we add 2 and negative 3, that is negative 1. If we add negative 1 and 6, the result is positive 5. Since the sum of negative 1 and 6 is equivalent to the numerical coefficient of the second term, meaning we're going to use the factors negative 1 and 6. Since we know the factors that we're going to use, let's prepare this parenthesis. Then copy the factors of x squared and the factors negative 1 and 6. Their sign will be the operation before them. So the factors of x squared plus 5x minus 6 is the quantity of x minus 1 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 6. Another one. Another example, 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. In this example, the first term has a numerical coefficient. To factor this easily, let's remove the numerical coefficient of the first term by multiplying it to the last term. And that is 2 times 4 is equal to 8. As you can see, we just removed the numerical coefficient of the first term. And then we just copy the second term. 8 here is the product of 2 and 4, which is the numerical coefficient of the first term 
and the last term. Now, we have a trinomial that doesn't have a numerical coefficient on the first term. Let's just copy the first term and the last term first. And then write all the factors of the first term and the last term. For x squared, we have x times x. And for positive 8, we have 1 times 8. Negative 1 times negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 4 and 2 times 4. Next, we need to find the factors that if we add, the result is positive 9. If we add 1 and 8, the result is positive 9. And that are the factors that we are looking for. So for the factors of 8, we're going to use 1 and 8. Next, prepare the parentheses. Copy the factors of x squared and the factors 1 and 8. Their sign will be the operation. Now, we need to bring back the numerical coefficient 2 that we removed earlier. We're going to put it as a denominator of the factors 1 and 8. Next, let's just simplify these fractions. 1 half is still 1 half and 8 over 2 is equal to 4. Next, we just have to remove the denominator by putting it as a numerical coefficient. And that will be our final answer. The factored form of 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 is the quantity of 2x plus 1 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 4. Another one. Let's try that process again. Let's remove the numerical coefficient first by multiplying it to the last term. So we will have x squared plus 11x plus 18. Copy the first term and the last term first. And write down all their factors. Now we just have to look for the factors of 18 that if we add, the result is positive 11. And those factors are 2 and 9. Now, let's just write all the factors in the parentheses. And then bring back the numerical coefficient 3 as a denominator. Next, simplify the fractions. Lastly, we just need to remove the denominator by putting it as a numerical coefficient. So the factored form of 3x squared plus 11x plus 6 is the quantity of 3x plus 2 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 3. Wait a minute! Take note that this method is not always applicable. Sometimes you need to use the method trial and error and check your answer by using the FOIL method. And that's how we factor general trinomial.